Nicole Gurnan was in court today. Nicole, will you remind us of the background to the case? Well, Colette, it was the prosecution's case of 58-year-old Michael Scott from Gortobner near Portumna in County Galway, who you'll see on the right in our footage, deliberately drove over his aunt, 76-year-old Chrissy Tracy, at her yard nearby Derry Hiney on the 27th of April 2018 due to a long-running dispute over land. Chrissy Tracy suffered severe crush injuries and during the trial, prosecution counsel Dean Kelly said that Michael Scott did this out of a sense of entitlement and for revenge. However, Michael Scott had pleaded not guilty to murder and maintained throughout that this was all a tragic accident with the trial hearing that he told Gardie that he was reversing the teleporter on the day in question when he felt a thump. He thought he had hit a trailer and it was only when he got down from the cab he realised that he had hit his aunt but he thought she was going to be okay because she was breathing. He didn't know he could get help for her by dialing 999 and instead he called a friend for help. And last week after a trial lasting more than two months Miss Justice Caroline Biggs told the jury that they could find him guilty of murder if they were satisfied beyond reasonable doubt that he intended to kill or cause serious harm to his aunt but she said if they were not satisfied of this they could convict him of manslaughter if they believed he was driving the teleporter in a grossly negligent manner and today just before lunchtime after nearly 15 hours of deliberations the jury of six men and six women returned that verdict of not guilty of murder but guilty of manslaughter Miss Justice Biggs thanked them for their service and exempted them from jury duty for the rest of their lives and she said that she would adjourn sentencing until the 12th of June to allow some time for victim impact statements and some reports to be prepared. Michael Scott has been on bail throughout this trial and his defence counsel Paul Green applied for this bail to continue saying that he has been compliant with it and he needed some time to put his affairs in order. Miss Justice Biggs said she did generally agree with this however she did note that he did at one stage use a particularly grotesque name for one of the witnesses in this trial which said was was a breach of his bail terms. However, she noted that he's now been convicted of a charge for which he was not originally on trial and which was less grave than a murder charge. And after taking everything into account, she said she would remand him on continuing bail. However, she said that he should not expect to remain at liberty after the 12th of June.